and this is where I'm going to put my batting. So this stabilizer is no show mesh. It's a cutaway because it's going to actually stay in the quilt. The only part I'm going to cut away is outside of the uh, stitching lines. I'm going to place my batting down. I'm going to make sure that I've covered my stitching all around. So my stitching down here, is, everything is covered. Put this back. <coughs> there we go and then I really don't need to tape this down but you could so this is going to be my tack down stitch and I just smooth it a little bit just to keep it from getting a wrinkle in it I don't have to use spray So now I'm going to trim away the batting. I'm going to trim right next to the stitching lines. Let's see if you can get a little better view. I don't have to be perfect and get right up to the stitching line like I would if it was uh, applique and this was the applique fabric that the edge would show with the stitches. And you can take it off the hoop. I mean, excuse me, you can take the hoop off the machine. You just don't want to unhoop your fabric. If my arm's in the way, I apologize. I'm trying to do this with, without having my elbow in your face. So I've trimmed all the way around. You can see it. A little fuzzy there. I've trimmed all the way around and now my next part is going to um, be for my fabric. So I'm going to place my fabric, make sure it's right side up. So normally you would have a placement stitch before you put fabric down, but in this case you know your placement is right on top of that batting fabric. And you see I've cut a, um, a square. I have a square batting and a square of fabric that's about, I guess it's about 10 inches or so. 
I like to have extra, so it could be a little more. Let's see, I'll measure it. That's about 10 inches square. Don't, you don't want to, let me move this back a little bit. You don't want to trim this fabric now. You can trim this fabric when you're all done stitching. You'll trim it a half inch from the edge of your stitching. So don't even worry about that right now. So I just have to switch my, my thread from my um, little junky thread that I use. It's not junky, it's just the color is like no color. Because I'm going to start my stippling. So I just have to thread. Oh, got my arm right in front of your face again. There we go. I'm going to thread my needle. And the stippling is going to start. Now, one of the things I'll do because I'm going to see where my foot is. Um, I've got padding in here, so I may want to adjust my presser foot height, and I only want to make sure I do it in the embroidery um, mode. So on my screen, I have an Alissimo. I can come right here. Get my stylist. And you see here, it's embroidery foot height. The default setting on the Alissimo for anything has uh, white letters with black uh, square around it. And when I change it, you see that black square goes away. Now I have black letters. So if I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be, I can just hit it until my black letters come up. So I'm just going to bring that up a little bit, uh, my foot height, just so it's not dragging. And I can close that. And now we're going to begin stippling. You notice I don't have to hold on to my thread. I don't have to stop uh, and cut my thread. Most machines now, on the higher end, when you thread your machine and you bring it around to your uh, cutter on the side and you get ready to thread, you don't need to touch it after that. You start pulling that thread longer and it won't do its job. Its job is to bury that thread underneath um, so you don't have to worry about that cutting. So this is going to go ahead and be the stippling, and um, we'll come back on for the next part. I've changed my thread, and now it's doing my um, stitching, which I consider sort of the embroidery stitching. You can see the stippling is all done. There's a couple places that are kind of open, that that's where the embroidery will go. And so I'll just finish this up and show you how to trim this block. The block is finished and now we're going to trim it. And we're going to be going um, a half an inch, half inch to the right side of this stitching. This will be our seam allowance. So I'm just going to use the half inch on my uh, ruler, on the Creative Grids ruler, the white side is one inch and the black side is half inch. So I'm just going to put that on my seam. Here we go, and our block is uh, all set to go. We can go ahead and do our next block.